yo it's value for welcome back to another video kings and queens i've spoken about the music industry i've spoken about deals with the devil on this video another artist came out exposing the deal he almost made with the devil luckily he didn't sell his soul to the devil so before getting to that make sure you hit the like button subscribe if you're new leave your thoughts in the comment section and share this video and I'll be honest, I've never told this story before. And I feel like I, like, I'm just going to say it because I feel like you should know. Anyway, when we signed it, before we signed it though, I was a bit off on it. And because the pressure was a bit much, it was like, sign it, sign it. And I remember speaking to my old manager, right? And th no, if I'm lying, I'm flying. He's, po he's, he's phoned me and we're in the studio and I put him on loudspeaker, old manager. And he's like, yeah, like, what are you lot thinking about the deal? Like, yeah, we want to sign it, but we want to wait and see what happens. And like on God Shams, yeah, his voice changed in like a like a demon's voice. Sign the deal. Sign it now. Sign it. Sign it. I got so shook I threw my phone on the floor. If I'm Shut lying, up. I'm flying. Wallahi. And me and Crep just staring at the phone on the floor, like, what the fuck? His voice just changed into like a gremlin. And it, all he kept saying is, sign the deal, sign the deal, sign the deal. And I'm like, what the fuck? Like I dropped the phone and stepped back like this, and we're just staring at the phone for about three minutes, like. I'm like, did you hear that, bro? He's like, yeah, bro. Like, what the fuck's that? The guy's name is called Conan. You probably gotta do a research about him because he's not that famous. I'm glad that he really exposed the secrets, things that people don't speak about. And that's great. Like, that's super duper cool. A few of us that speak about these things, we are being looked upon like haters or jealous people. But as you can see, these music artists, Expose the truth about the music industry. The truth is that some of these people you see in the music industry, these managers, are not real human beings. Some of them are reptilians, some of them are demons. Some people you see on the, on the TV are not real human beings. And when you hear about people talking about selling their souls or a bad record deal, people think it's just a paper, a way pen and a paper. If that was the case, then it would be so cool. But when you start seeing this demonic energy in music videos, Jay-Z, Beyonce, Illuminati, Keisha, I mean, you're seeing stuff that don't make sense, that it don't relate to anything. It's not just about the pen and the paper, it's more of something spiritual and people have to wake up to these things. You know, people, I don't know where they're living, you know, people are just so carnal. They are just so carnal. I can't believe this thing, man. I mean, if you're just a little bit spiritual, you know that not every single body that you see on this earth is a human being. I mean, for those who are Christians on like, I know most of my subscribers are Christian because I can't like say more Christian stuff. Um, if you've read the Bible, yeah, if you've read the Bible, all those encounters with angels coming from heaven, they didn't use angelic form I, I guess like more in the new testament they use angelic form but if you read the old testament most of the angels when they came to to human beings they came in the form of humans and i want you guys to know that the same fallen angels the same demons whatever you call them still have the same parameters so an angel will always be an angel even though it's a fallen angel and don't forget angels have four form they have a human form, they have a spirit form, they have an animal form, they have another form where they're having wings, okay? People need to know these things because some of these fallen angels are living here on earth and they have reincarnated themselves into human beings. They are coming from the pit of hell. We also have angels living here on earth. Don't forget the Bible says that Jesus Christ he even came and said it that don't forget to entertain strangers because you don't know some of these strangers are angels. But very few people really read the Bible and try to understand the spiritual form or the spiritual part of the Bible. The Bible is real, okay, and it's not a book. It's kind of like a living thing. It's a living thing that is, is more practical than what you read or doctrine, whatever you call it. These fallen angels are living among us. We also have angels living among us. And that's why I've always encouraged you guys to be very generous to people because some of those people that you're generous to especially especially strange looking people are angels from heaven while on the dark side some of these people are demons they are really demons they are reptilian demons they got there are all kinds of demons that have reincarnated themselves 
back to the human form and they're doing a lot of crazy things on earth you know this guy said that the record label the manager gave him a deal to sign and when he was calling the manager all of a sudden he the manager's voice became demonic and he was like sign that deal sign that demonic deal i mean like he couldn't just be making stuff up to scare people he kind of like said that this is the first time he's speaking about it but at least i'm happy that he even exposed the truth because most people don't speak about these things they keep it on the dark side they sign their music deals they sell their souls to the devil and they go ahead suffering doing whatever they want to do for the devil on this realm and you can actually see the symbolism popping up sometimes on their videos and all these things and their whole agenda is no longer based on passion it's based on fame it's based on pushing demonic things on people and just promoting the devil's work on this earth and when we are just a little bit spiritual you know coming out and pointing out these things people are like you're jealous or you hate people anyways this guy exposed the truth about the music industry most of these contracts most of these managers the music industry itself is being ruled and controlled by the devil and you guys should have known this the devil was the chief musician in the in heaven and ever since he came down on earth he's been the one controlling the music industry and that's why you see how this bad energy is being promoted nakedness um drugs i mean just bad vibes is being promoted and you feel like you might enjoy it because they got this great beat they got this great melody it's so cool to the ears but it is actually dragging your soul to hell i'm not like all oh, music are demonic no i'm just saying that be careful with what you're listening to because some of this music they got a lot of bad energy and when you reverse play this music you start seeing the the spells that we've been casting in music videos or in the music audio and that's just the whole point about this thing that's why you see some of these artists coming out crying about selling their souls to the devil of course nobody takes a pen and go and say okay dave where are you come on I want to sell my soul no these are musicians okay they went to the to the record deals and they signed their soul to the devil come on like people will need to just be a little bit open-minded okay to these things because last time i spoke about selling the souls to the devil people said like no it's just like having a bad record deal a bad record deal this is not a record deal okay when you hear, when you hear demons speaking to you when you when you become famous and you keep promoting satanic stuff um Lil Uzi Vert, like Playboy Cardi. This was not who they were before they were famous. So how come they just became all of a sudden demonic or being so evil after they became famous? So I feel like people need to become a little bit wise and not being a fool because these things are quite open for everyone to see and understand. Some of these music deals that you see around are coming from demons from the underworld and they got agents they got agents that they use on the in, in this world some of them are actually demons reincarnated into the they use a the human form to perform certain activities on this head and that's why we have seen a lot of bad vibes being promoted in on mainstream music in the entertainment industry in general talking about hollywood is the same stuff hollywood because when you look about the kardashians and all these things they, they don't they don't promote anything good even though they're rich they're famous but it's more of nakedness sexiness nudity and all these things i mean these things are not godly and we have to be careful so i just felt like sharing this video because most people will just ignore it trying to let you guys you know try to just keep sensitizing people about these things why they are living on this earth because in the next realm there will be no place to hide anyways make sure you share this video Leave your thoughts in the comment section what do you think about this video, about this guy, about this artist. Leave your thoughts in the comment section. And if you have any suggestion, you can leave it in the comment section. God bless you. Make sure you hit the like button. If you're new, subscribe and see you next time. Bye.